praise to Jesus. If you give me some praise, I'm going to make a little shit. We thank you, Jesus. We give you praise. We give you all the honor. We give you all the adoration. Mighty Father, I speak the word tonight. Let your power come down heavily and touch your people. Transform their lives and just increase them tonight in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout, I believe in Amen. I said, somebody shout, I believe in Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. You are in the right place. With the right people. At the right time. For the right word. You are in the the comfort of your seats in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Are you ready for the word of God? Let's read the book of First uh, Kings chapter 18. Verses number. First Kings chapter 18. Verses number 4. And the topic of my sample is the uplift. Hallelujah. Yeah, the story of my sample is the uplift. The Bible says, when Jezebel, uh, when Jezebel killed the prophet of the Lord, uh, 1 Kings 18.4, when Jezebel killed the prophets of the Lord, Obadiah took a hundred uh, prophets and hid them in groups of 15 in a cave and fed them with bread and water. Praise the name of Jesus. Yeah. I want to bring to the word of God on the subject of the Holy Spirit. I believe I speak to young people and you are people that God has burnt his hopes upon their lives. The Bible says that Paul writes and tells the young people that I write to you because number one, you have the energy. Tell them I have the energy. Okay. Number two, let them go because they have the power to overcome the situation of the world. Praise the name of Jesus. The, the Bible talks about Jezebel and Ahab at the point where they want to bring down the move of God, which is revival in the city. My God. And the Bible is very clear. When the time of God comes, nobody can stop the move of God. I can submit to someone today that there is someone who is seated here and you are leaving this place today knowing who you are, why you are here, and where you came to this place and why God has you living at such a time as this. Somebody shout Amen. And the Bible says Jezebel has conspired with his husband Ahab and they want to put down the prophets of God. And let me tell you, child of God, whatever God has ordained to live, no man has the power to take him out to die. Somebody shout Amen. And the Bible says that uh, 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 Obadiah comes and meets the prophet of God and tells him that the, the king of the land, Ahab, has put your name on notice. And he has told everybody, if you see this man anywhere, alert us so that we may kill him. Because we understand that Elijah, the name Elijah means Eliyahu. Eliyahu means the Lord is Yahweh. That means our prayer that someone can understand this. That we are living in a time whereby our names must give us a reason to serve God. <laughs> the name of Elijah gave the introduction who he was. So whenever he walked by the streets, no one needed to introduce him. His name itself could introduce him because the name Elijah in him is Eliyahu. The Lord is Yahweh. He is the God who opened the Red Sea. He is the God who does the impossible. He is the God who picks people without a name and he gives them a name. He is the God the provider. When they were in the wilderness, he provided manna. He gave them food to eat. He gave them water to drink. And the Bible says that when Jezebel tried to find the servants of God, there was a remnant somewhere. He said the people of God cannot die. I'm going to hide them somewhere in the caves. Somebody shout hallelujah. Oh, I feel like preaching in it. Because every move, every, every move, every move of God, every move of God, Oh, upwards. Yeah. 
Because when, when the priesthood has fallen, and when the church has fallen, and when the nation has fallen, there must become a voice. There's a voice crying in the wilderness. These are people that have been hidden in the caves. They've been there for 20 months. No one knows about it. Obadiah knew that there's a voice coming. Obadiah knew the only thing they can do is to hide them because they serve the living God. Yeah. I can tell you, your second pastor Jay, time to pray. No one knew when he went to pray. No one heard him when he went to pray. No one knew he was fasting for this. And no one knew that one day we'll gather at a place. No one knew that there was a man who gathered his team and went in the caves uh, and came to speak to somebody. The problem with my generation, we want to start in the presence of people.
what you don't understand is God he said and the thorn was thrashed in my flesh for this thing I sought the Lord three times morning and lunchtime evening that the Lord may take it away God looked at me and told me my son I know there is a thorn there I know there is a bad thing there I know something is happening but wait a minute Because I came from 
magnetic cord bukulunya. Hallelujah. The name itself is something else. It, it doesn't even have a meaning. Bukulunya. That's where I came from. And I, I came in the city. I, I, came, I came under an assignment. I was a David. When I was three years old, I was praying in, in Colomosio with my father. I was praying in the closet. No one understood why I was praying. I no one understood what I was doing. But 25 years down the line, this little man you see here today is a pastor, a senior pastor of a big ministry. I came to tell you something. It may look small now. You need to connect now. Oh, 
are poor and fresh. Maybe they are 43 and below. Let me say 45 and below. Even mama here, she is young at heart because them that wait upon the Lord. The Lord says he'll pour out his spirit upon our flesh and the young and the young and I like the word young and the young shall prophesy and the young shall mount up and the young shall see visions because a vision is a prophetic insight into the future what I see now is what Joel saw 2000 years ago I don't care if you are a Presbyterian, you are a Catholic, you are a Pentecostalist, you are a Baptist, I don't care. What I care about, there is a way of revival. So Elijah comes, we are getting there. Elijah comes and he meets this man. He tells him everything and he tells him this. This is the response. Elijah tells him. No, Obadiah tells him. No, Elijah tells him. I know my name is out there. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. no. not news. I... The one who is uh, he who is in me uh, is greater than the king. Uh, yeah. The government is upon his shoulders. Yes. I understand my identity. Uh, so I will not be able to be we can't go to another meeting. Ha! Can I break this thing down? Because religion is what is killing our generation. You are a slave in our church. God spoke to me. He told me, son, in this season, in this hour, it is not about religion, it's about spirituality. Because religion gave boundaries. You can only come to church and pray like this. You can only come to church and say You can only come to church. You can't walk in church when your hair looks like this. Religion gave us stuff. And religion killed this move of God. But when religion was the order of the day in Israel, God raised a man. A man who was in the caves. Can I pray this thing like a fit? He raised a man who was in the cave. And this man is at Millennium Hotel. It will go down in history that there was a movement, a revival movement, that was launched in the heart of the city. And that man was a man dressed in red. And they are anyone dressed in red? Signifies danger. You can see them from afar. When they come, everybody will see them. There we go. Come with us. Look at this. So now, can I say this thing like you feel it? So now, At the past time, they said, when you met a people, I mean, I want to get the word of God. So, you have a son, you have a young skin. I said, Papa, tell the king, I am alive, flesh, and blood. Oh, but that tells me, but you know the bounty of the king. If I go there, will you kill me? Elijah told him, as sure as God lives, today, today, I will present myself before him. This man preaching to you now, this man, this man here, June 2016, 2013, he died. Died and taken off, mortuary. God picked this 
man from the deathbed and told him, your time is not yet over. Yes. I came to death, I told death, Psalms 118 verse number 17. Wow. I will not die but live to proclaim the goodness of God. Yeah. Here I am preaching the gospel because when the assignment of God is upon your life, not even death can take it out. Elijah knew. He said, even if you will kill me, fear not them that will kill the flesh, but fear him that can kill both the flesh and the spirit. Uh, because Elijah knew uh, uh, in the days to come, John the Baptist is going to show up. Uh, can I speak this thing? And John the Baptist comes as Elijah. He comes to prepare the way for the coming of the Messiah. He knew that one day I may die, but my spirit So when he comes before, when he comes before, the king is coming with the confidence that even though they may kill me, they can kill the good works of God. They can kill the fish. They can take the grave. The Bible says the bones of Moses could even raise the dead. Ha. You need to understand something here. Uh, that, that this thing is, is, is not even the flesh. It is in the bone man. <laughs> Not even in the box. It is the bone man. Son of man prophesied to those bones. Let the bones. What can the bones do? Elijah, Isaiah, can you prophesy? But God, why would you ask a mortal man if the bones can live? God tells him because nothing can happen on earth until man permits it. And that is why God is raising us to permit such meetings. It looks like a dead bone right now. But there's gonna be flesh. Yes. Starting now the sinews. Starting now there's gonna people who are gonna come. They're gonna say, Pastor, I, I want to be head of the protocol. Uh, I want to be to be a son in your ministry. I, I just want to be supporting every month with ten thousand shillings. I just, I just want to be doing something. I, the bones are beginning to come in flesh. And then someone's gonna come and say, I want to be doing the process free of charge. And they're not far. They're here. <laughs> Listen to me, young people. I want to finish up. What is killing our generation, mommy, is you wait for people in the crowd, but you don't want to wait for them in the pampas. So today, when I'm in my pampas, I'm in my mess. No one wants to share with me. Because my pain is not permanent. My pain is the thorn in my flesh. My pain is to pull me to the next level. Because for you to advance to the next level, the environment has to get uncomfortable. Look at it. The baby has to come out. And the mother has to get unsettled. She used to walk like this. She has to change her walking position. Because something is just about to be bad. And the baby in the belly that can follow me here now, I'm finishing up. And, and, and the thorn in the flesh yeah, is just about to come out. And so, because this word was the word of Elijah, and the, 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 the baby has to come out. So, what happens is this the environment begins to come uncomfortable. The king is on your case, the people are on your case. You have no one to turn to. Where do you turn to? You turn to the world. You turn to the world. You tell God, it's not about me. If you, if you didn't hear God, shut it down and listen again. But if you had God, turn back the wall. Tell him, Master, I heard your voice. I heard you call me. I heard you say, go to Millennium Hotel and start it. However small it is, just start it. Because God works with people that start something. God doesn't work with mediocrity. Excellent. The Bible says, and Daniel distinguished himself.
from the rest. Because the spirit of excellence was in him. Listen, not on him. Not on him. In him. So when he walks, it is excellence. When he speaks, when he dances, when others are coming here in Jinyu and Omiko. My generation must be saved. There is a voice rising in this place. Yeah, yeah. 
you, you start singing way, way long before that. But these guys, when they get their fame, two things happen, fame and money, they forget God. Yeah. My friend, next year you call me, will you charge us to come and see you? You say, I'm, I'm the top artist over here, my friend. What are you talking about? You're here very humble. Please pray for me, I go take you. When you come, you say, talk to my manager. What is now? I see your star rising. Amen. When you begin to group of words, your name will be known all over. That's the first step to rising. And what pastor is saying is that we don't prophesy in flesh. We prophesy the spirit. Yes. You are appealing to remain humble. And humility is not this. Mm -hmm. Humility uh, is character. Uh, that's right. Uh -huh. In 2000, in one place, come on. I need us to have at least 500 people in the net. If I be a prophet, you will see it. Come on. I'm going to say a special prayer, not here. I'm going to say a special prayer for you after this. And I'm going to give you something. You have given me a watch. Amen. I'm going to give you a gift. Hey. And in four days, you're going to be surprised what's going to happen. Hallelujah. Hey. Hey. Hallelujah. Glory okay. to God. Okay, please bring it. Hallelujah! What else are you looking at? What else? The no, man no, says, please, and he has come with banana. Yeah. The man just walks in and says, I want to be my life. Hey. Okay, what else guys are you praying for? Wow. Let's help this one, please. Apostle, just hold the right hand. Let's 
Kuanzia leo. Kuanzia sasa. Nimeokoka. Nimeokoka. Pombe, pombe, sigara, na wacha. Kwa jina la Yesu. Bwana Yesu, nitolee tamaa zote za pombe. Nisilewe tena. Nisikunywe tena. Stress zote. Kuanzia leo katika jina la Yesu zimeshindwa zimeshindwa sema kwa nguvu zimeshindwa zimeshindwa katika jina la Yesu kuanzia sasa nimeokoka andika jina langu kwa kitabu cha uzima mimi ni mtoto wako Father in the name of Jesus We thank you for this soul Open your mouth and just say one word for this We thank you for this soul Say one one word for this We thank you for this soul Father as you grace us to guide this young this man into the ways of the Lord may the light in his life shine right may his life change Every appetite is coming out right now. Every appetite is coming out right now. It's coming out right now. It's coming out right now. It's coming out right now. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost. Now. Holy Ghost. Now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Touch of Jesus. Where is your wife in the shoe? Well, I saw an accident. That was what changed me. Rashadabu, <laughs> The Lord is restoring you. The Lord is restoring you. Every year the Lord has been restoring you. Everything the Lord has been doing. What a redemption of Jesus! That is a chain of Jesus. 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 There's gonna be a peace that you will never understand. There's peace that is coming upon you that surpasses your understanding. Now, receive the shalom of God. Receive the shalom of God. I see you are homeless. I don't know if you are homeless. <laughs> Everybody just touch, uh, just hold the end of your neighbor. Just on the...